How's it going, guys? We are going to cover the technical analysis. There's no time to waste because GME is on the move. Let us get this bread right now. Professor Meeple and I are ready to talk, and I hope you guys are ready to listen. Reading mode time. Uh, this is from 26 minutes ago from Coastal Hot Dog 835. They have been following the DD uh, for a long time now. Well, thank you, HT the Stonk Stranger. Uh, intro. They hope that everyone is fresh for a few uh, for a new day of holding <laughs> because things seem to be getting interesting now. This is a good time to say that this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, and therefore, you should be taking this with a huge bucket of salt and make your own dang decisions. Oh, thank you, Cole Gidley. Uh, the take on the DD is a bit different from the usual format because they've started to focus on technical analysis. This is 100% everything you need to know in terms of the indicators and the data, and as always, data is king. So, as uh, there is a too long didn't read at the end, of course, if you still don't follow, so make sure to try, wrinkle your brain a little bit, try to follow as, as much as you can, and then let's get started. First off, the pivot point. Support, resistance, and calculations are widely accepted as the simplest yes, mo yet most effective trading strategy. They are well trusted by traders, banks, and all financial institutions as clear indicators of the strength or weaknesses of the market. They are used for the basis of the most technical analyses, and the pivot point is the point in which the market sentiment changes from bearish to bullish and we are looking at it now so this is a uh, r1 r2 and r3 to make sure that even the simplest of apes can understand r1 is two times the pivot point daily low r2 is a pivot point plus the daily high minus a daily low s1 is a uh, two times the pivot point minus the daily high all this mumble jumble aside some just some simple algebra uh, linking back to gme we have the s3 s2 s1 uh, and the pivot points right here. So the GME line of resistance number one is 195. Uh, we have a 202, and then finally at 215.87. These numbers are already knocked out of the water as time of this taping, uh, which it currently is at 228. Wow, that is going to be crazy when you guys see the price that it ends on. Uh, while writing this post, GME was hovering around 217 in pre market. It is now at 227. Uh, all through the value is bound to change uh, when the market opens. Uh, this, if 215 can be maintained during the opening, that will ultimately see resistance level three becoming the new support line. This will depict a very strong bullish trend that can be aided by the RSI relative strength index, which we are going to cover and which we have already uh, made it past. So congratulations. Um, so now we talk about the RSI. We talk about this a lot on the show, but the RSI is a momentum indicator used in technical analysis that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions in the price of a stock or other asset. The RSI is displayed as an oscillator, a line graph that moves between two extremes and can be uh, have a reading of 0 to 100. The RSI below 30 is oversold, and we will rebound and may show divergence, and above 70 is overbought. Thank you, Howard. Uh, current GME RSI value, 68 neutral right it is getting close to being overbought but it is currently neutral the data shows that it's continuing upward bullish trend and in this line the price of gme as no divergence could be seen coupling it with a few pivot points if the same trend continues today and tomorrow we'll see a breakout and support lines forming around 215. Disclaimer, these are just predictions that this Redditor has created but compare the rsi to before the january squeeze right there uh uh the RSI is at 72.14 here. As shown in the second image, RSI trend before the breakout was in an uptrend. However, the slope was not as steep as we're currently seeing it right now. And when that price started to get really high, RSI showed a massive overbought. Comparing this with the March RSI, that trend is still in the neutral territory and has potential for more violent uptick as RSI value reaches the 70 to 75 plus region. And now we're talking about the VWAP. Hell yeah, I've made, had a total dedicated video about the volume weighted average price. If you guys wanted to see that, that is one of my very favorite indicators. Ed Jake, what's going on? Uh, we want to see the candles. Uh, let uh, that's, that's the main thing that I want to be able to show you guys in just a second. Uh, so give me a hot second right now. The volume weighted average price is a trading benchmark used by traders that gives the uh, average price security has traded throughout the day based on both volume and price. 
price. It is important because it provides traders with insight into both the trend and value of securities. Large institutional buyers and mutual funds use the VWAP ratio to help move into or out of the stocks with as small of a market impact as possible. Therefore, when possible, institutions will try to buy below the VWAP or sell above it. This way, their actions push the price back toward the average instead of away from it. If you guys want to see that in more detail about the VWAP, I have that video on the channel. The blue line indicates that the volume and weighted average price comparing both pictures, the VWAP values in regards to each candlestick seems to show the same pattern. The VWAP has been given has been above the average day trading price between 6th and 7th of March. This seems to act like the support line for the price uh, and 8th of March and 22nd of January show a similar pattern. Both had relatively a significant increase in increased volatility and more violent price swings as well as a positive slope gradient. So, and now we are talking about something that we have already covered yesterday, but finally, uh, but not least importantly, the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's a momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of the securities price. MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average, the EMA, from the 12 period EMA. A nine day EMA of the MACD is called the signal line, is then plotted atop of the MACD line, which can function as a trigger for buy and sell signals. Essentially, just understand traders may by the security when the MACD crosses above its signal line. So back in January, this is the MACD crossing above the signal line right here and then right here in March, which is where we are. MACD is often displayed with a histogram, see the chart below, which graphs the uh, distance between the MACD and its signal line. Uh, the MACD is above the signal line, the histogram will be above the MACD's baseline. MACD in January showed a gradual increase until breakout and the March MACD value is much stronger in regard to the trend and can see the signal line deviating away from the EMA. Linking it back onto the RSI uptrend, trend seems to be bullish and does not show any signs of divergence. Outcome? Well, probably continue this trend for days to come. Since they ran out of time, there's a probably a couple of other indicators that we have. It's including the uh, exponential moving average, uh, the purple line, and the simple moving average, the blue line, that we usually see in the charts that I have in terms of technical analyses. Too long, didn't read. Most, if not all, moving average indicators shows a very strong bullish market on a day scale. And that is, uh, that is, if you guys saw the previous video, uh, much more, uh, much weightier than on a. Uh, and a more granular scale. So we can see the uptrend to continue, follow an uptrend. Resistance level three pivot points may become a new support line if the RSI and MACD trend continues. Neither show divergence, which is also a good sign. So I hope you guys realize that this also needs a big bucket of salt, but you realize that this is one, not financial advice, and two, some education for your day about how to read these graphs in the future. And hopefully you guys can also become a data scientist such as these honorary data scientists here on Proof Meatball the professor and me all the space legend tier members that have supported the show either on patreon or by pressing the join button down below and for now but not for forever peace